Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve few questions from ISS 2019 question paper and statistics paper 1. So let us begin with our very first question which will be question number 54. So as you know, we have been solving this question paper since a time and we have solved few questions in our previous video. So in this video, we are going to solve question number 54 which says for interval of differencing as unity consider the following operation observations so here you see function of 0 is 41 f of 1 is 61 f of 5 is 20 and f of 6 is 50 so what is the value of this sum where s is equal to summation from k to 4 from k 0 to 4 we have data square f k so first let us note down our values f 0 is 41 next value is f 1 which is given to be 61 then we have f5 which is equal to 20 and f6 is equal to 50. Now what we need to find is summation from k is a random value which is from 0 to 4 delta square f k. So what we basically need is uh, we will put all these from 0 to 4 and we will find the value of this summation. So first let us simplify this function where summation k is equal to 0 till 4 now we have a, we will take one delta and this function will become simply okay this is a function inside function we will have k plus 1 minus k so this is something like this f of k plus 1 minus f of k and again repeating the same thing with the second La second and last delta is k 0 to 4 now we have f of first is f of k plus 1 so what we will get is f of k plus 1 plus 1 is f of k plus 2 minus f of k plus 1 and in second part we have minus of f of k so this will be f of k plus 1 minus f of k but since this is a minus function this last function will become plus so this is our basic function which is f of here s is equal to summation k from 0 till 4 we will simplify this is f of k plus 2 minus 2 f of k plus 1 plus f of k. So what we need to do is simply put the value of k in all these values and find the value of this summation. So s will be equal to first we will put a 0 in place of k so we will get f of 2 minus 2 f of 1 plus f of 0 so this is the first function first equation now we will take the value of k to be 1 so we will have f of 3 minus 2 f of 2 plus f of 1 again we will have a uh, plus over here and the third function which will be there will be f of k is equal to 2 so k equal to 2 is f of 4 minus 2 f of 3 plus f of 2 now in fourth function we will have k is equal to 3 and it will give us f of 5 minus 2 f of 4 plus f of 3 and lastly we have k the upper limit is still 4 so lastly we will put a 4 in place of k and the last function will be f of 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 2 f of 5 plus f of 4 so we need to check what of these values are getting cancelled out because as you can see we do not have many values given in the question which are which include f of 3 f of 2 so these are the values which we do not know so we need to eliminate these as you can see here we have f of 3 over here as well as 1 f of 3 which will be a negative f of 3 so this these are 2 f of 3s minus 2 f of 3s and here you can see 1 again f of 3 so plus function of 3 2 times and minus of 2 function of 3 gets cancelled out now taking function of 4 so here you can see plus 1 here we have again plus 2 and minus 2 gets cancelled out so we are left simply with just a function of 0 you can see we have one function of 0 over here so function of 0 and function of 1 
so here we have minus 2 plus 1 so basically minus 1 so minus 1 function and in case of 5 you can see here we have minus 2 and here we have plus 1 so we are left with minus f of 5 plus we have a function of 6 over here so this will be function of 6 you can also see we have uh, f of 2 over here f of 2 and minus 2 f2 so both are cancelled and we have taken everything so this is the basic function we needed to find and now what we need to do is simply put the values as you can see we have 0 1 5 and 6 and you can check all these values have been provided to us 0 1 5 6 so we will put these values and find our answer so in place of f0 we have 41 in place of f1 we have 61 in place of f5 we have 20 and in place of f6 we have 50 you can see we have 50 in place of f6 so calculating this we have uh, 40 41 minus 41 plus 50 is 91 minus 81 which is equal to 10 so 10 is the answer to this summation value 10 let us check the options in option number b you can see 10 is a correct answer in option number b hence option b will be the correct answer to this question now moving on to the next question after 54 we are going to solve question number 55 so in 55 you can check we have which one of the following is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so which of these values is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so what we can do is we can find individual values individual equations for these functions and trial and error on all these functions and check which one matches with the value so starting with x cube as you know any function in cube format can be written it as x x minus 1 x minus 2 so simplifying this we can get x square minus x multiplied by x minus 2 so this will be x cube minus x square minus 2x square plus 2x so simplifying we get x cube minus 3x square plus 2x and this is x square x cube now x square so x square can also be written as x into x minus 1 so this will be x square minus x value now this you know here we have two values so now let us check and use some tricks over here so as you can see we have a single x cube on these values and simply this is x cube x square x will be equal to x and 1 is obviously equal to 1 so as you can see we have only one x cube and in equations you need to check x cube which are ones so a b and d so in these three equations we have x cube once so option number c gets eliminated automatically now as you can see over here we need to check how many times we have x so let us check we have a uh, 2x and minus 1x plus 1x so basically we are left with uh, we are left with 2x but uh, we will not simplify this equation on base of 2x because we need to multiply or add something to make uh, this 3x square matchable so how we can do that as you can see we have over here minus 3x square plus x square this is minus 3x square plus x square so simply we need is x square what we need is just x square and not this minus 3x square so what we will do is we need to multiply something to this function so that we get only x square so how we can do that is minus 3x square we can simply multiply a 4 over here and we will get a simply x square because minus 3x square plus 4x square will give us x square so what we need to do is we need to multiply 4 with this function we will multiply a 4 with x square function so this will be a 4 4x square so here we will start with x cube as you can see since we have taken x cube so option c gets eliminated the second criteria will be 4x square so let us check the options in option number d only you can see we have a 4x square and in options b and a we do not have 4x square so our possible the most possible answer to this question should be option number d so for rechecking what we can do is we can put the values in this function so x cube you can check is x cube minus 3x square plus 2x then we have 4x square so here we have multiplied 4x square so plus 4x square minus 4x then we have plus 3x plus 3x plus 1 
So let us simplify this. We have x cube minus 3x square plus 4x square gives us x square plus 2x minus 4x gives us minus 2x plus 3x gives us x plus 1. So here you can see the equation what we have been provided in the question is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. In question you can see we have the same equation. So option number D comes out to be the true answer to this question, correct answer. So option D will be the correct answer to this question. Now moving on to the next question. So after 55, we found question number 58 to be a very interesting question. So we are going to solve question number 58 in this video. So question 58 you can check over here says the third divided difference of the polynomial 2x square plus 1 over the points 0, 1, 3 and 6 is. So we need to find the third divided difference. So let us check the values we have been provided. The value of x. Let us assume these points to be x. So we have 1, 0, 1, 3 and 6. And let us consider this as y is equal to 2x square plus 1. So the column for y we will get 2x square plus 1. Putting 0. Here we have let us take as fx. So f0 will give us 0 plus 1 is simply a 1. So here we have 1. Then we have f of 1 which is 2 into 1 square is 2 plus 1 is 3. Then we have f of 3. So 2 into 3 square is 18 plus 1 is 19. So this is 19. Then we have 6. So 6 square is uh, 6, 36. So 36 multiplied by 2 is 72 and 72 plus 1 will simply give us 73. So this is 73. So we have our column ready. So let us uh, check the third divided difference. So here let us draw a line and first divided difference how we do is we subtract this from this and after that we divide that uh, value by subtracting this by this. So this is simply y2 y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0. The second is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. The third is y3 minus y2 and x3 minus x2. So the values over here will be 3 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0. Here we have 19 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 1. Here we have 73 minus 19 by 6 minus 3. So the values that come up to be is 2 uh, 19 minus 3 is 16, 16 by 2 is 8 and 73 minus 19 is 52, 52 divided by 3 is 18. Again what we will do is we will do the same thing this minus this, this minus this and this time we will take x2 minus x0 and x3 minus x1 in the denominators. So this is the second divided difference which is 8 minus 2 divided by here we have 3 minus 0 and here we have 18 minus 8. And this will be 6 minus 1 divided by 6 minus 1. So the values are 8 minus 2 is 6 by 3 is 2. And this is 10 by 5 is again 2. So in third we will do is this minus this and simply x3 minus x1, x0 this time. So 2 minus 2 divided by 6 minus 0. So this is 0 by 6 which is simply 0. So our answer to this question is 0. The third divided difference of this uh, polynomial on these points is 0 that is option number A. So option A will be the correct answer to this question. So I will like to end this video here. You will find more solutions to ISS 2019 statistics paper 1 solutions in our further videos.